Jersey Sports Zone's coverage of the Hockey State Championships is made possible by RWJ Barnabas Health. The main event is here. The 2022 non-public state final is a battle between two true heavyweights. CBA is on the cusp of history with a potential undefeated season on the line. However, Del Barton has other plans and wants to capture their first title since the 2018 season. The first period is a goalie clinic. Del Barton speeding up here. It's a beautiful pass, but John Donahoe turns the shot away. On the other end, Evan Brown gets a great look from the circle. Jason Kai stops it with the body. Donahoe brought his A game early. This pass gets free, but he's in great position for the save. We're scoreless through the first 15. In the second period, the Colts are coming, but Leighton Bysadecki is denied. That's one heck of a stop from Jason Kai. Great athleticism from the Green Wave goalie keeps CBA off the board here. Later in the second, CBA is on full attack. This is expert passing. Ray Cartigiano shoots, the deflection pumped in by Patrick Riley. Goal CBA. Riley is one of the most dangerous defensemen in New Jersey, and he gets his goal at the 442 mark, giving the Colts a 1-0 lead through two full periods. CBA comes out of the second intermission, and they don't miss a beat. Will Tigerson gathers the puck. Check this out. Whoa! Will Tigerson smokes one past Jason Kai for one of the best goals of the entire day. Let's take another look. This shot had some serious mustard on it. Tigerson extends the lead to 2 0 with 11 and a half minutes still left in regulation. Now, with a sizable lead, CBA digs their heels in. John Donahoe did what he does best stop shots. Time is now running out in the championship game, and Del Barton would pull their goalie, but that plan backfires when Patrick Riley scores on a full ice empty netter. Goodness, Riley with two goals in the final, and this late one puts the finishing touches on a historic season for CBA. The Colts storm the ice after a 3-0 win. CBA is the first team since St. Augustine in 2007 to finish undefeated. 27-0-3 is the final record for a team that certainly has a spot in New Jersey hockey history. Oh, I'm so proud. I mean, uh, we've come a long way. I mean, it's easy to say that when you haven't lost, but uh, everyone's done such a great job from the coach staff all the way down to our managers. It's been unreal year, and I'm just so proud of everyone. We're, uh, we're hungry, like two years ago. I don't even know what you said. It feels amazing. The guy's the best goalie in the league. Uh, he's the player we were going for. We were able to get two past him. We have a pretty resilient group that cares more about each other uh, than themselves as individuals. They're all hockey talented skill-wise. The hockey sense IQ is through the roof. Uh, that was never in question. It's you know, how much do you care about the guy next to you? And I think this season will just be, and especially this game, will be remembered by our seniors because, you know, when, when things got tough, especially after the first period, our senior leaders rallied us in the locker room and, and we were able to go out and have a good second period. And, and from there, you know, that was all she wrote. Congratulations to CBA, the 2022 non-public state champions. Reporting from the Prudential Center, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.